Hey, what's up, my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. Let's talk. We got Killer Boy Graham. We also gonna. I'm gonna be giving my thoughts on Crazy in Love season two, episode one. JT and Ken Barbie. JT and Saudia. We also got Kylie Jenner, Jordan Woods, and we got some Krishan Rock. Her recent tweets, and we gonna get into it. Like I said, this channel was not for the sensitive, so keep it moving. So this is Augusta, okay? She is a woman who has been killed by her ex-boyfriend, okay? Like, mutilated. When I tell you, her breasts, her, her private area, and her eyeballs allegedly has been removed, okay? And people are talking about a ritual. Now, this is the man, okay? Mr. Killer Boy Graham, who is a Nigerian man. He unalived his girlfriend. For three years, they have been together, and he confessed it on his Instagram stories. Let's get into it. I got into an argument with my girlfriend, which fight I mistakenly stabbed her and ran away out of fear and been suicidal since then. I want to intend to end my life now because I have lost the one old oh, cherish so much. I want to do the right thing and turn myself in. I will gladly unalive by paying with my life now, okay? So, boy, it was not no mistake. Carry on with the antics. All right, I ruined my life at the age of 26. Oh, my God, I'm going crazy. I want to unalive myself. Okay, I'm not a bad person. I swear I'm not a bad person, but which what has happened, I think I deserve nothing but death. I will gladly unalive myself by hanging, by shooting, whichever way fate has for me, I'm willing. I can't live with this guilt knowing the girl I love so much died in my own hands oh god why this why do i do now i deserve to unalive myself i want to unalive myself all right i achieved so much at 26 years old i had the world at my palm i won over 300 million naira whatever or more on sport bet between last year so this year which unbelievable i made move from launch pad launches i had everything i could wish for i lived my life i had the cars good life and all i had i got dual citizenship what else i was in such a good place god did everything for me answered all my prayers i got everything i ever wished for a god da, 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 boy whatever um woman was finally the ended of the benjamin best woman oh woman what anyway f i think i got the love i think i deserved i blame myself as you should okay i will turn myself in shortly good bye for now till i do so after that i accept whatever fate has for me including death okay i deserve death no running away i deserve death i will give this to her family i guess so now he posted up this these are between the girl's mom and him y'all could pause to read this um I will call my people tomorrow and break the news to them too by myself and then turn myself in. Please forgive me, mom. I have failed you and have failed my own mom that gave birth to me. Please forgive me. I will pay. I'm not saying all this to escape death. I'm in pains and the only thing I pray is you find a place in your heart to forgive me. Y'all can pause to read the rest of this, okay? Because if I was the mom, I'm not hearing none of that. Sorry. And then I genuinely love Augusta and you. Please forgive me. I will turn myself in and pay with my life. My my beloved Asta is gone and living here on earth now seems meaningless and of no use to me. I wish I can reverse time, but it's lost already. Mm -hmm. We hear you. You mistakenly stabbed her. Okay, whatever. I don't, I'm not falling for it. Um, At the end of the day, there are things saying that he was taking her body parts out and rituals and all type of stuff. Like, we do not know what's going on, but I feel like nobody should lose their life because of whatever going on, an argument or not. A lot of people is getting a little bit too heavy-handed with the knives and the weapons when it comes to arguing. If you cannot take somebody's mouth, leave the area. Go about your business. It's never that serious because now you want to go on the internet and think somebody's going to pity you. I'm sorry. Not a lot of people is going to pity you, okay? Not at all. So I just feel like whatever he's going to do, he's going to do with. And I really feel sorry for Augusta because she was a very beautiful woman. Looked like she had a lot going for herself. And it's weird to me. 
I heard Killer Boy Graham is a Yahoo boy and he removed her organs. They Yahoo boys at your own risk. Those people don't care about humans. Rest in peace, Asta. Okay, now these are people that's Nigerian and people that know of, okay? Someone calls himself Killer Boy Graham as in Killer Boy who possibly hacks people to death for organ trafficking or rituals and we are expected to believe it is just a random nickname. Okay. Um, No amount of anger can make you stab someone and call it mistakenly, especially the one you love. I think Killer Boy Graham used Asta for rituals because he removed the important organs. Maybe the renewal of his money didn't work, so he's not at rest since then. Rest in peace, Asta. Now, these are people that's online that know of the name, know of, you know, the category or whatever that's going on up in the Nigerian world or whatever. But my thing is this. That's just weird, because who does that? That is some demonic, sick stuff, y'all. And I guess whatever path he's gonna go into, let him. I just feel like unaliving himself is the easy way out, in my opinion. I think he needs to rot, okay? Krishan Rock looked at over it in the season two of episode one of Crazy in Love. I'm going to get my thoughts on it real quick. Just a quick little rundown of my thoughts. When it first started, it's nothing new. A lot of the stuff that we've seen in online is in the episode. I think they take their recordings from their phone or whatever, throw it in it in the video, and call it a day. We do see some clips that we we did not see now blue face is blue face he's insensitive he's disrespectful you know Krishan is selfish also blue face is selfish she want to make it all about her he don't want to make it about the baby at all he basically saying listen he's sticking with the 10 guys he also know he's a possibility that he's the father he's down to do the dna test he wanted to do his boxing he had to weigh in she made it about her saying da 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 crying and all the stuff at the end of the day nothing that i seen was anything shocking okay it's the typical toxic Krishan and Blueface. I do think that she is going through it okay this is the time when i guess they just found out that she was pregnant and let's just hope that they aren't really together right now because they do not need that. And I will give y'all more thoughts on it. But the first, ep the first episode wasn't really nothing to me to talk about much. <laughs> JT was having some fun on Twitter when I tell you. This is Kim Barbie. This is um, the person that she was going back and forth with. And she and him was going below the belt when I tell you. Now, y'all know that Kim Barbie is Cardi B's friend. They do have a friendship, okay? So, people are saying that this is the reason why she wants to target. Now, y'all already know when she put this out, the princess versus the peasants, okay? We already know that Ice Spice is known as the princess. Even Nicki Minaj announced her the princess. So, who is really the princess? Is both of y'all the princess? <laughs> so, basically, when Kim Barbie put out that and says somebody tell jt ice spice already bought her princess collar jt says non-black people once again using terms to insinuate that black women are dogs now that is what she's getting from that but just because a collar means a dog it could be a cat it could be anything but we already know collar is obeying okay now but i'm definitely 100 percent black not half not a quarter full why y'all always assume light-skinned people aren't black don't try to race bait me you know you're a lab dog and then he posted up his family pictures um you know basically him responding to jt's non-black um comment okay but I don't think that he's saying that she's a dog because she's a black woman. He's saying basically she's a dog. She's a little puppet. Like, she's just Nicki Minaj, little follower. She's a lap dog. That's basically what that means, okay? That's what I think that he was insinuating because this is not the first time someone called her a lap dog, okay? Also, people have been calling her looking like she looked like a dog, okay? That doesn't mean it's because you're a black woman. A lot of people could look like animals. It doesn't have to be about their color. She's like, I'm in New York. She at Ken. Come see me. Why well, I'm just seeing that stuff. Mind you, the other bullcrap, I don't care about. But Emma F has got to chill for real. Okay, so now she wants to rumble with Ken Barbie. He says, where I don't fight women, though. Who want me to fight Leslie? Yep, come on. Where you at? So JT is already ready to fight Ken Barbie, but she did not have that energy when Uzi was fanning out an ice spice in her face. <laughs> All right. Uh, where was this energy when that girl played in your face talking about she the girl of your man dreams after playing with him directly in your face? You know who to try, huh? She says, aww, 
I was saving it for you. Where you at? So right here, she's basically admitting that she didn't have that same type of energy, okay? Now, I know his phone is in his hand. Y'all think Ken got a sister? I'm ready to take my shoes off. Girl, you need to go sit down and worry about no bars, okay? Promote that. What are you doing? Um, she said, baby, you don't want that. Trust me. That's what Ken Barbie says. She says, yes, I do. Trust me. Where you at? I'm up. I DM'd you. Check it. Reply right now. Then here is the DMs, babe. You know, Twitter slow tweets late. I'm late. I caught up. Anyways, you've been speaking on me for a while. She says, I'm not, um, the only one who says that. Stop acting like one, blah, blah, blah. Um, y'all can pause to read the rest of this. This is basically, you are the only one with a face that say, I don't give a F about no fake, um, stand accounts. So she basically knows that people have been calling her lab dogs. People been calling her looking like a dog. She's admitting it, but she wants to direct to him. Weird. Um, then she says the end, I guess until he go make up some more lies, I'm going to bed. Kim Barbie put up trying to raise bait when this is you is crazy. She said this in 2018. Okay, I love pretty dark skin girls, not too crispy, nah. But the milky ones be the stuff. Okay, so she basically had this type of mindset. So he like what? So basically, you're definitely talking tough on the timeline for sure. Because why weren't you just in my DMs talking about we don't know each other? Leave it at that. And yes, I uploaded a picture of an ignorant person like you who are apparently doesn't know. We come in more than one shade. OK, um, she says, I truly hate that this Internet, you so lame. Ain't you supposed to be a blog? I never say stuff to you, but relax. I don't know you. You don't know me. Leave it at that. Damn. OK, that's basically what she is trying. Oh, staying not that old trick. I'm black. I don't have to upload a pic of my family to prove it. Like I said, man, leave me alone or put your wig on. It's so simple. A side to your guy. That's some stuff you proud of. Keep all this energy for them girls. Everybody from Miami know you don't even get down like that. So please sit the F down. I got an address for you. That's where your music is. Go meet it there. Okay, so that's basically Kim Barbie talking to JT and basically saying she is a side, okay, to Uzi. She says, I'm shaking. Don't spare me because I'll never spare you. Go scramble for some tea, big grown loser, mad he why. You corny. He says, mad at you for what? You came speaking on a tweet from well over 24 hours ago. Okay, so basically, they're, this is where they're insinuating how this even happened, okay? Because he is not the only one that said anything about the collar, the chain, and all of that stuff, or the princess stuff, okay? Now, you left out the part where you admitted to being well aware of Leslie's side pieces. If y'all know who Leslie is, that is little Uzi. Don't be mad at me. Be mad at your man telling him that he don't want to have a baby with you. You put all this energy on the wrong them, okay? She says, now what, what, what was you talking about? That bull crap that had nothing to do with um right now stop playing with me so she basically feels some type of way that ken is talking about the tea she says no i'm not aware of nothing don't put words in my mouth i was definitely being sarcastic because what the f that got to do with anything girl you know stop it and then he says girl please exactly i'm not even listening to what that had to say you know all right exactly but she knows what she's doing take a wild guess why she chose me okay Babe, you know Twitter slow, okay? She put out the DMs, and then basically, Ken isn't the only one who feels that JT is a professional bull gargler. All right, and this is what um, Mr. Wiggins had to say, okay? Um, it's a lot of people on the internet, you know, got their opinions. I can honestly say Cardi opened the door for a lot of normal girls that feel like they could be rappers, you know? That's, I love Cardi for that, like... So where did the switch up come from JT, okay? Because she picked Nicki Minaj's side. She felt that she can't make songs with Cardi anymore and do all that extra stuff. It's weird to me. So, yes, I feel like JT directing Kim Barbie, knowing that Kim Barbie has a relationship, friendship with Cardi is weird because a lot of people speak on it. It don't matter who it is because Kim Barbie is also a blog. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so my thing is this is very childish. Okay, everybody has opinions on the internet, and if a celebrity decides that they want to comment, then that's fine. They could, they could, they could voice their opinion, and it's a back and forth. It get, it becomes a back and forth. It is what it is. But how do y'all feel about that situation? So JT also is going back and forth with Sadia, if I'm saying her name correctly. This is a person that allegedly, you know, was messing around with Uzi at one point some time ago, okay? Now, we are going to get into how this even happened. Now, 
Saudia says, also, thank you for correcting the spelling on my name. And she asked JT, I was going to leave it alone, but since you think it's okay to play with me on social media, again, F it. You constantly run with the side girl narrative, which you know isn't true. You've DM'd me, stalked me down in malls, etc. Any chance you get, you crash out, literally. You know what I'm talking about. I don't and have not dealt with Uzi. I know it takes a village, but keep it cute. I'm clearly a trigger, but from here on out, when my name is mentioned, skip over it, all right? So she basically talking about Kim Barbie bringing her name up, Britney name up, and stuff that was going on with the T regarding Uzi, and we gonna go straight into that. All right, so basically, where you at, Ken, what's up? She want to fight? Okay, he says, I know, I know enough. Don't let me tell you what your man used to tell Saudia. F out of here. Oh, and guess where Saudi is at for believing him in Philly next? Where you at? So she's talking about it, and she feels some type of way. Ask Leslie if he saw Britney four weeks ago. If y'all do not know, Britney Bird is his ex. Okay, okay and then Ken, Britney going from Maine to side is an L. Leave, this, leave those nice young ladies out of his, please. Let them sneak. You know how guys be. But where you at, though? So she admits it right here. A side to your God. This is exactly what we talked about in the last text, okay? So she basically admitted to it. She's saying, leave those nice young ladies alone. She said she's being sarcastic, right? Maybe sarcastic when she said nice young ladies. But she does says, let them sneak. You know how guys be, all right? Now... She says, I hate a fake innocent girl. Don't ever write me again. I ain't ashamed about nothing I do but you. Laugh out loud. You hot cat. That's what she says to Saudia. Saudia says, you're delusional. Get off my eggplant. I'm not going back and forth over a guy I don't deal with. Why do you feel like you know so much about me? Obsessed? Go run your car into another house, please. Crack baby. I hate a girl that's sick, fake sick on her birthday. No, you don't. You love me. That's why you're so updated and think you know so much about me. Making up lies is even low for you. You do too much behind them. Crashing cars into houses, murdering babies, embarrassing yourself constantly. You do everything but leave. Okay, so, hmm. That pretty face ain't keep that guy home. That's what JT said to Saudi. Saudi says, speaking of homes, did you move your stuff back into theirs? Then girl says, JT says, that girl looked like a darker version of XVI Pip to me. I don't see it. All right, girl, you don't want to start talking about looks. That's too easy. Let's post selfies. I'll go first. Only one rule. Gotta post your original face. So she make like no makeup, no filters. Post your raw face and see who win. Who y'all think is prettier, Saudi or JT? I think that Saudi is pretty. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. You can be sensitive about it if you want to. Kick rocks. All right, so basically, JT is like this. Like I said, keep those nice ladies' names out of what's going on tonight, very off topic. Okay, so she doesn't want to talk about the topic of Uzi having side or her being a side. Now, Saudia says, you're delusional. Get off my thing. Now, JT responds, laughing my butt off. I just saw this. Why she said over a guy? Wait till I tell Maria on you. You're going to have the beef you've been itching for. Okay, so clearly they have some type of history of back and forth. Of course, because they said JT was a side when he was dealing with Saudia and when he was dealing with Britney. So let's get into it. Now, basically, she says, you talking in circles, whether he mentioned me or not, I don't want to be mentioned or played with on social media. You posted it on Twitter, so I came to Twitter. Now, JT says, everybody follow Saudi a hand me down, be please. P.S. I posted it because he tried to act like it was some big stuff popping. Now, go away. Girl, bye. For JT to not think about Saudi, she sure know a lot. How you know who she effing on and how she was sick on her birthday? Exactly, that's giving weird. You're watching her. That's what it's giving, okay? Now, so JT says she stopped bothering Saudi when she found out her real age. So is Uzi a pedo? Because that's what it sounded like. I mean, I'm reading in between the lines. That's weird. <laughs> because really, why did Uzi say swag like Saudi B? Okay. And why did he tell Saudi that JT was black and crunchy? JT really let him get away with murder. Okay. Because he did say Saudi's name in his songs like he did Ice Spice. All right. Um, Saudi look way better than JT. JT can say whatever she want about Saudi, but her to call her ugly, I nah, baby, let's all relax. Saudi be just turned 22, and JT is 30. What the F? Bye. Yeah, that's a big um age gap. All right, JT calling Saudi be sneaky. 
cat makes me chuckle girl Brittany was tired of him and sneaking with you and left him so you got promoted is what saudia should have said so basically they just calling jt a side because she was a side when he was dealing with Brittany bird now if y'all do not know this is Brittany bird okay and they had some type of animosity going around with each other because jt was still messing with uzi okay and also um, Miss Brittany Bird alleged that Uzi put his hands on her at the time. Now, look at this picture right here. They look young as F right here, and they have been dealing with each other way back, and I guess JT decided that she wanted to think that she could scoop him up and think that because she has him now, I guess, you know, she won, but that's not what it's giving, okay? Let's get straight into how I feel about it. Now, I seen some comments online talking about some Cardi B sent Kim Barbie to do that. Like, what? Do y'all got proof? Because everybody be like, oh, Nicki would never do that. Nicki no send people. What? Y'all be swearing Nicki Minaj is an angel. She definitely put out subs. She definitely does her dirt behind the closed doors, okay? Let's cut it out. Like I said, both of this, this beef and the siding, that stuff is so childish and petty. I, like I said, I say this plenty of times. I feel like Cardi and Nicki should just team up, make some music together, and put that petty beef aside. It's been how many years? JT just came out with no bars. She was getting a lot of her numbers was going up. Everybody loved her song. She needs to focus on that and stop trying to target people that have an opinion on her. Like, it's giving weird. Unless... She, you know, responds to multiple people and express herself of how she feels about people's opinions. Fine, because she's human and she could do that, right? So don't don't hide away when the tea come out and you feeling like you're stuck and you look stupid. Now, Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods has been spotted together and the whole internet went crazy. Oh my God, after four years, they decided to make up. Da -da 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 -da. Let's get into it. Now, somebody says when Jordan goes after Timothy, then Kylie will learn. When a person shows who they are the first time, believe them. She nor Tristan no boundaries okay so basically if jordan start messing with um you know timothy don't say nothing um y'all if kylie jenner was able to hide from the public for nine months then yeah she could hide her friendship with jordan woods to this whole time i agree because we do not know this all right the Kardashians about to use Jordan for another storyline on their show, shaking my head. After years of thriving on her own, she popped out looking like Kylie's lackey. Wow. They honestly should have never stopped friends anyway, because Chloe was still with Tristan. That's just kind of backdoor to stop being friends with your friends when your sister was still with the man that also cheated. I don't understand Jordan. I'll never become friends again with someone who dragged me and encouraged her family to do so as well and make it public to like. How can you trust someone that treated you like pavement gum while the man who started all of this was welcomed back? Mm, that's weird. Jordan Woods is in a whole relationship with Carl Towns, okay? That is who she is with right now. So we do not know if they've been friends after the situation. Just because we haven't seen them doesn't mean that they wasn't secretly being friends. They just popped out. Maybe they decided to be like, listen, I'm tired of this secret stuff. Let's just pop out and, you know, give the people what they looking for type stuff. But yeah, um, I would never forgive the man and then let go of my friend. I'm letting both of y'all go, okay? If you both disrespect me, y'all both not loyal, I cannot trust y'all, y'all both gotta go. So yeah, I, I, I don't know about that now, okay? But um, how do y'all feel about this situation? Do you think that Kylie and Jordan been friends? They were just on the low low? Or do you think that they just finally made up and decided to just meet up and talk about their situations? And to move on, comment down below, what are y'all thoughts on this, okay? Because, child, if I don't say, it's probably going to get messy. Now, Krishan Rock decides that she wanted to know, you know, she go on Twitter, she posts on her stuff, little subliminals, okay? Now, she posted up this, I moved on, Krishan moved on, we waiting on y'all now. And then Krishan said, for real though, so she is agreeing with this statement. She also posted up a video saying my dusty ex trying to get back after I realized my worth and moving on. As you can see, her is the woman and Blueface is the one um, chasing her behind, okay? <laughs> now, she also puts out 
Real love hurts. Nothing hurts when I'm alone. And that is facts, y'all, okay? And I'm going to let y'all know how I feel about this statement. When you love somebody, of course you love somebody, but when you really let go, when I tell you, really let go, there's no chasing him, there's no conversation with him, there's no nothing, okay? When you really move on and you're single, you have nothing to worry about. Like, that's the thing. You can do you, you can you move how you want to move, like, it's just, it's just a different... It's like a, a freedom type thing, okay? Especially if you're dealing with a narcissist, you listen, you, you, somebody that's controlling you or obsessive or all, all type of stuff, it's freedom. So let's just hope that she stays on that side because we already know that she was around him and as she should because they allegedly got a baby on the way because we really got to get government DNA, I'm sorry. Like the Zeus Network and all that, anybody can say anything. We really haven't been seeing much baby talk between Blueface and Krishan Rock, so we do not know what is going on behind the closed doors, but we will see eventually, okay? That baby is about to pop up any minute now, okay? The baby doesn't always have to come on the due date, okay? Definitely could come before the due date. Um, But yeah, let's give a quick little recap. Killer Boy Graham, I don't want to be insensitive about the situation, but I feel if somebody takes somebody's life, I truly think that it was intentional. I don't care because if he took out, um, you know, parts of her and all this stuff, that is um, thought out. That is not something like, oh, my God, is a mistake. No. OK, um, I don't care about what he does on his side at all because he just took this young lady's life over an argument. You need to work on yourself. If you have anger issues, period. Um, JT and Kim Barbie, I already said everything I had to say about that. Um, you know, I just felt like JT, um, stuck to her side, which is Nicki Minaj. And I felt like anybody that's on Nicki Minaj's side, they feel they have to be loyal in a way where they can't work with other people that Cardi, you know, that Cardi's working with or Cardi or anything that's on that side. And it's not dealing with Nicki and Nicki's. They probably like, oh my God, Nikki not going to be my friend no more. Let me not want to work with Cardi or let me not work with Lotto because, you know, Lotto and Cardi's cool. And it's just giving very much weird. Like people are stopping their bags over petty stuff. It's weird. JT also going back and forth with Saudia over, you know, mentioning of the names and all this other stuff. And basically, Saudia just admitted that she doesn't or deal with Uzi at all. So it's like there shouldn't be no reason for none of that. Okay. Kim Barbie bought the girls up, so that should have just stayed in their conversation. Um, but I guess Saudi feels some type of way because JT did say, "Oh, and look where Saudi is at now in Philly." Like, all right, so she basically trying to downplay Saudi. So yeah, Saudi should be able to respond to the little messy comment that she said about her. But anyways, it's all petty to me. Y'all already know I. Okay, I'm not involved with none of that stuff, so I really don't care. Y'all be thinking I be caring because of my opinions on it, but I strictly don't care because I personally don't know them. I don't want to get to know them. I live my own life, and I am stress-free and drama-free over here. And watching other people drama, that's entertainment to me. Like, y'all put it out there, so why not? And y'all love to hear it. So, at the end of the day... If y'all have anything that y'all would like for me to talk about, hit up Etoxic Tea Lounge and my DM. Etoxic Tea Lounge 2 is my backup, so make sure you can hit up both of those and I got y'all. And until then, I love y'all and toodaloo.